Well, hey guys, I am here in my kitchen and I'm going to attempt to make a wreath for my door for fall. We left to go to drop my daughter off at school today and part of my spring summer wreath um, that really could have transitioned into fall quite well, um, part of it was on the ground. <laughs> so I knew it was time to pull my supplies together and make a new wreath for the upcoming fall season. So I have some supplies on hand, most of it came from the dollar store, and I'm going to attempt to put this together. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so here are my supplies. I have a large grapevine wreath. Now, this is did not come from the dollar store. They do sell smaller um, grapevine wreaths that you can pick up at the dollar store. However, I had purchased a wreath a few years ago, um, and the gal had used everything from the dollar store, and it all fell apart. Um, so I threw all that stuff away because it really wasn't um, salvageable. Uh, and but I kept the wreath uh, because it was you know in great shape um, and then I have a pair of wire cutters and then just some wire so this is just stuff that I found in my garage you could use florist wire and florist tape to bind your flowers together and then um, I would I would recommend um, using either wire or zip ties to adhere everything on to your grapevine wreath I do have some ribbon. I'm not sure if I'm going to use this. This is from Michael's from last year. So this was just something that I had on hand. I liked the uh, jute uh, sort of um, texture to the ribbon with the polka dots. I, I love a polka dot. And then I have a bunch of flowers. Now these all came from the dollar store. Some, Most of them were from Dollar Tree. These white ones, um, these came from Dollarama here in Canada but uh, I wanted to go with sort of more neutral kind of colors. And then I just had this piece of burlap in my stash, and we'll see if I add this to the wreath for a bit of texture too. So, let's go ahead and get started. What I'm gonna first do is I'm going to take off all of the stickers that are on uh, my florals. issue that people do with their faux flowers that keeps them from going good to great is that they don't unfurl them. So what I mean is that you just want to pull your flowers apart to make them look just a little bit more full. So if you want to just like kind of pull your leaves down and make sure that everything is looking as full as possible. There is nothing that I find more irritating than to look at somebody's decor and to see how they have just kind of crammed it into a box during like you know the off season pulled it out and never bothered to fluff things out and make it look pretty now of course once we actually add these onto the wreath we'll go ahead and unfurl things a little bit more so it looks nice and full and um, put together however I think one of the initial steps um, to make things look really great and full is to start by pulling everything apart. With my faux flowers, I bought two of each thing because my thought is is that I'm going to put them like this. So I'll have one bunch at the top and one at the bottom and then I'm going to attach it onto the side of my wreath. That is my thought process with everything. And then I'm going to take my hydrangeas and I'm going to put it in the back. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to kind of intertwine my faux flowers together, the different kinds. So I'll have some of these smaller white ones in the back and some in the front. So it looks like they're kind of just naturally going together. And I'm just holding it tight here in the middle. And I'm going to go ahead and take the bottom one. Now I often use these white hydrangeas in my home decor. They often sit uh, on my table itself, my dining room table, so I use them all the time. I love them. And you're just going to down a little bit more than I'd like. 
So I'm just going to fuss with it until I like the way that it looks. And again, we're just going to kind of tuck these flowers in behind and in front just to give a more natural and full sort of look. Okay, so then I have these little fun brown things and let's see, I think I'm going to put them in the front. And again, just kind of work them in between and pull things out so it's nice and full. And we're going to go ahead with the bottom one and stick that in front. And again, I'll just flip it upside down and just weave everything in together so it's as nice and full and fluffy as you want it to be. You want it kind of as natural looking as possible. Now lastly I have this fall foliage leaf thing. It's got a little gourd and some berries on it so I think I'm going to stick this in the front. And again just Move things around until it's pleasing to the eye. Now I don't have a fall leaf for the bottom, but I think that's going to be okay. Okay, so this is kind of how it is looking at the moment. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take our wire and we're going to wrap it around this center section. Now I left my wire strands kind of loose so that I can adhere this onto the wreath. Now I'm just going to go ahead and attach it onto the wreath with my wire and wrap it around and twist until it's on securely. With this piece of burlap, I'm just going to kind of fold the edges behind. It naturally kind of wants to go in that way anyways. And then I'm going to pinch the center of the burlap until I have a shape that looks like this, sort of like a bow. And then what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to take another piece of wire and I'm going to just take my wire and wire that around the center of the burlap. Pinch it nice and tight. Make sure your ends are even and go ahead and pull on it a bit. It's pretty tough material. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach that into the center of my wreath my florals. So here's what it's looking like so far. Okay, so I went ahead and put my wreath, I kind of held it up here so you can maybe see it a little bit better. Um, I'm still just kind of fussing. I'm finding it's looking a little bare here, so I grabbed just another one of these hydrangea stems and I'm going to wire it in in the back to give a bit more fullness. Finding that this is, we're not quite done yet, I need more stuff to make it kind of how I want it to look. Um, what I wanted to do was I wanted to get um, one of these uh, chipboard letters and I wanted to paint it and just kind of nestle it in the middle of my wreath. However, our last name does not begin with an M, this is for my first name, and I don't have that initial on hand. so. I'm going to have to scrap that idea. Instead, what I'm going to do is I have this paper mache pumpkin. I think it's from, it's either from Walmart or Michaels. I'm pretty sure it's from Michaels. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to hot glue a wire here on the back. 
and I'm just going to wire it into my, um, my wreath right here. So here's what it looks like all glued on. And then I'm just going to carefully attach this pumpkin into the wreath. So at this point, this is how the wreath is looking. I'm just, you know, fussing and fluffing and making sure that um, things are kind of looking how I want them to. Um, I went ahead and I wired on the pumpkin, and now I'm going to go ahead and attach my polka dot ribbon. I wish this ribbon was much thicker, um, but I'm just kind of working with what I have on hand so as not to have to go and buy anything else. I went ahead and made a bow, and I kept the tails long. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hot glue it right here into the wreath. And then lastly, I'm going to dovetail the ends of my ribbon. I'm going to make sure that they're the same. I'm going to make sure that they're roughly the same length. And then what you're going to want to do is you are going to want to take your ribbon fold it in half, and take your scissors and you're going to take it and cut from one corner up. So then you have what's known as a dovetail or a chevron. Let's see if I can zoom you in here so you can see a little bit better. Okay, so you're going to take your ribbon you're going to fold it in half and then you're going to take your scissors and you're going to cut from one corner up and that will give you a perfect dovetail. And then I'm just going to go ahead and clip some of these loose strings. Now, if you have other embellishments and you want to go ahead and add them, feel free. I have this little pumpkin sitting around, um, and I may see what that looks like here. Yeah, I think I'm going to add that on. I like a nice, big, fat, fluffy, full wreath, and I think that'll look kind of good. So this little thing I've had for years and years, I'm fairly confident that it came from Walmart. You can find picks like this at, you know, the dollar store, um, Michael's any sort of craft store, Hobby Lobby, Joann's, that kind of thing. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to wire this pumpkin onto the back. Okay, so here's our completed wreath. I'm going to go hang it on the door and I'll show you what it looks like. 